All right, turning to some other news on this Friday morning. Today is National Gun Violence Awareness Day. Something that's on the minds of many Americans following the recent mass shootings in Buffalo, Tulsa, Oklahoma, and at the elementary school in Uvalde, Texas. President Biden addressed the nation last night calling for action on guns. The rights granted by the Second Amendment are not unlimited. Not unlimited. It never has been. There have always been limitations on what weapons you can own in America. We should reinstate the assault weapons ban and high capacity magazines that we passed in 1994 with bipartisan support in Congress and the support of law enforcement. The president's address coming as a House panel voted to advance gun control legislation following hours of heated debate, including some fiery words from a Rhode Island congressman. And 12 News reporter Kayla Fish is live in our studio with those details. Kayla. Hey, good morning, guys. Well, Congressman David Cicilline will be at the Nonviolence Institute in Providence this afternoon to mark Gun Violence Awareness Day. It comes just hours after he was part of that intense debate over gun control in D.C. last night. The House Judiciary Panel ultimately voting along party lines to advance the Protecting Our Kids Act. The legislation would raise the age limit to buy a semi-automatic rifle from 18 to 21. It would make it a federal offense to import, manufacture, or possess large capacity magazines and help create a buyback program for such magazines. It also includes a bill from David Cicilline, which would crack down on untraceable firearms. The Rhode Island lawmaker has sponsored multiple gun safety bills, and last night tensions flared during a debate over red flag laws, which would allow courts to take away guns from someone deemed a risk to themselves or others. Critics have said the measures infringe on due process rights. You know who didn't have due process? You know who didn't have their constitutional right to life respected? The kids at Parkland and Sandy Hook and Uvalde and Buffalo and the list goes on and on. So spare me the bull about constitutional rights. Now, a full vote on the legislation is expected in the House next week, according to House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, though it's not expected to pass the Senate. Live in studio, I'm Kayla Fish, 12 News.